Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, Umugeli is doing her braids. If you have already not subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Do the right thing and subscribe, okay? My name is Ayanda Bonisoyende for people who are new on my channel. And I'm basically a South African that's living in the UK. And on my channel, darling, I share everything and anything about my experiences like today. Today is going to be my first time I'm doing my hair in the UK, specifically braids. So I decided to actually vlog and have like a nice chit chat with you guys and just show you the cost and how much it actually costs. Guys, remember the cost of living is high. Living abroad. Believe them. Because when I was calculating, I was like, I'm going to need a blesser because wow, child, it's wild. It's really wild. So yeah, guys, I, I've always had, to, okay, not really always, but majority of the past four years i've had like short hair you know i'm part of the zozibini squad when zozibini came out hey darling she freed us and yeah because and i'm really not an afro person this whole maintaining of an afro even now like my hair is like a proper afro because needs blowy um but i think after i do my braids i'm probably gonna cut my hair short again because i am tired of pain the pain of sitting down and getting your hair pulled and ah, uh -uh, I, I I'm not about that life anymore. But when I my braids because it's currently summer and I'm just tired of wigs, having to lay the wigs, melting it, putting the glue. I was like, you know what? Let me just do braids because my hair um was like it grew a bit due to lockdown and because I was just not doing anything. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do braids. You know, so I'm gonna take you guys through everything and show you guys what it means and yeah, the prices are insane. But I'm gonna do that and cover all of that in another video where I'm gonna sit down and show you guys exactly how much it is because I had to go buy my own relaxer. I had to hair pieces not included on the price. But anyway, let's just go and get this hair done. I can't wait to see how I'm gonna look, but I'm also scared because Nyasaba guys with clean like Nyasaba. Like, I am legit scared. I'm like, I hope I find someone who has, like, a nice hand and it's not so at all. Because, yo, 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 I am so scared. But anyway, let's just go see. Oh, good, is keep up on my watch. Next time I do a video, I'm probably going to be all braided and looking all cute. So, I wanted, I wanted to show you guys, like, a before. Like, it's so long. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. But I'm not going to keep it. But I'm like, wow, Zukulile Lenuele. Because, well... And the hairline, darling, is all intact. Hairline is there. So, yeah. Guys, see you in the next video or when I take you through everything. So, for now, let's just go to my salon appointment before I get late. Oh, I can't wait to be done. It's not actually that painful. It's only painful afterwards, but shame. 
and yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost there. And then I guess yeah, pull up. Not let go. Look, 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 kind of hippies. Let's get this hair done. Later. Ah, 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 I got my head done. I love this braids, guys. Like, let me just put me the big phone on the corner the way I like it. Yeah, but yeah, but I look like a black Barbie. Oh, child. I'm so ecstatic. As you guys would have seen, oh, good see, my hair was a mess. It was a mess. Uh, because I hadn't cut my hair in such a long time and then I decided to as in I want to actually do braids, you know, I was like, I actually want to do braids and look like nice and natural and keep it cute. And I was just tired of putting on glue in the wig, melting. Oh, uh -uh, guys, I was tired. So I decided to do braids as you guys would have seen throughout the video. I went to get my hair done at Chocolate Hair Salon in Birmingham City Centre. And then now I'm going to be breaking it down to you. The prices. <laughs> Guys. Yazini. Yazini. Mabati, the cost of living is too high. Believe them. So I was calculating everything. And I was like, did I really pay this amount for braids? Johnny babes. Hey, <laughs> guys, good zim. Kala overseas, bang and tabela, manga good zim, good zim. But apparently, it depends on location. So there's other places in UK because a friend of mine was telling me, Gutiena, she's never had to pay more than like fifty pounds for her braids. She's based in London, so I guess it depends. But anyway, I'm based in Birmingham, and I I saw this salon on Instagram. I was like, oh my god. How much is it? Bang jelly pricey. I booked my appointment. I was like, let me just get it done. At first, I was like, this is too much. You know, the money that I'm paying here, I could legit order a wig from I don't know you wins hair or AliExpress. And Lentons we kaka. They understand. So I was like, what? But I'm just tired of wigs anyway. I was like, you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. Oh converti. But now, because I had to do this video and actually do the calculations for you guys, Sony's a born with his patala malini for simple braids. Yazi, lemali lena, a guy's ninga kunisa bonka bantu was a strat in say to Namakazin wab. Because, oh wow. Anyways, um, I've got it all here written down because I don't want to forget. Yeah. So, what happened is, isn't it my hair, you know, as I'm short and. It was just in giraffe. So I had to buy a relaxer. I had to buy a relaxer, dark and lovely one, so that at least I could soften it up and blow the hair. So that at least when bang cleaner, it's not too too sore or too hard and stuff like that. So the relaxer cost me six pounds, so five nine nine. And then I then we went to the salon. They said I must get hair. So I'm a hair piece that I used, including some hair food, because that lady was like, my, my hair is too, it's too dry. So, so she was like, you need to also get this so that I'll put it on you so that it's not too so when I do your hair. So I had to get hair piece and get the hair food thing in. That all cost me 30 pounds. And then, okay, the cherry on top, the labor for the hair, the person that's getting my hair done, 120 pounds. So the total is basically um, 
156 pounds. Now, take out your calculators, guys. If you don't believe me, as of today, this is the current, um, what do they call this thing? The rate that I'm trading, that I converted in today. And I was shocked. And I'm going to, did I really pay this much money? But that also goes back to my thing. We would like, you know, like I still need, I don't know, maybe I need to get someone to actually understand what is like 100 pounds, like Malini, you know, because in South Africa, a thousand, yo, you can do a lot, a thousand, you know, you're like, yo, a thousand, yo, do you understand? So I still need to get someone, I'm like, like 100 pounds, how much is it really worth? Because I had a child. Anyways, so in total, I paid 156 pounds and then I converted it into South African rands. And that gave me a shocking and heartbreaking amount of 3,000, 3,184 and 38 cents. Guys, I shame. I'm going to say, man, is a pants thing is cool. And I was like, I would never. I wouldn't even pay half of that for braids in South Africa. Not even half of it. Guys, braids are not even 500 rands in South Africa. Maui ya gubo, gubo, gubo chomi la pichu ozi. Uchomi, wata ha chomi ngna 200. Uchomi ya, uya shala pansa kutin uchomi. Ma wata chomi ngna 350. Uso kutin uchomi. Guys, ngpatale, 3 tawa for this hair. But I can't complain. I'm complaining younger Hago, because it is what it is. Um, a friend of mine also told me, dude, you need to stop converting. I'm like, the thing is, I'm like, like sanctuary, I'm a rent. Because I'm South Africa. I'm a rent. That's literally the only currency I've known for what? 30 years of my life. And then I'm a mover. And then it's like, now I'm a student. So it's going to get time for me to get used to this pound thing. But when I converted it, I'm not going to lie. My heart was so, I was like, did I really pay this much for braids? Oh, guys. This, mo this money in South Africa could get me a proper wig from like Sands hair, from like Emporium hair. I could get like a proper, proper wig. Not these things as I like proper for this money. Three tower. Oh, what was it? But anyway, it is what it is. I just had to share with you guys because, like I said, on this channel, I share my experiences. They are very real and authentic. And I'm just as shocked, Nami. I'm sure you guys are wondering, what the hell? How are you paying so much for hair? But it is what it is. But also, it sort of like makes sense because last year I did my hair in, I did braids as well in Ireland, yeah? And it was like, it came, well, the, the girl that did my hair was like a student. So it was like a side hustle. So she only charged me like 90 euros um and that was it uh but that was excluding hippies so i still had to get my own hippies and like a pack of hippies is like what 10 if you like eight euros as well so plus minus it all adds up to like a hundred euros so when this girl was telling me no the price because also isn't it i wanted the um, babies are the goddess what 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 i wanted my mind to be and they're like yeah it's gonna be 120 and i was like okay grand it is what it is. It is what it is. But I like the hair. They were very quick. And the lady was so nice. We were just chatting along. And yeah, it was I I, I have no complaints really. I'm definitely going back because I think my next my next hairstyle is gonna be like since my hair you can plait. I want I'm a fox locks. I'll tell you the prices again. So you guys could see. Oh bah. My the cost of living is high. They mean cost of living is high. Because it is what it is. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in into this video. Let's comment and talk on the comment section. And in jail, what do you think? Do you think I'm crazy for doing my hair? for the? Because I feel like it is what it is, yeah? Because ah, uh, there's really nothing I could do about it. But um, I could have shopped around. But the thing is, I, I found them. Like, I'm new in Birmingham. So, these are literally the only people that I saw. I, I had two salons that i saw on instagram i was like let me dm them i compare my price the other one was too far from where i stay i was like i and then this one was very it was in city center so city center is not too far from me i was like okay fine let me go to this one so yeah let's comment down below like this video am i being unreasonable because 
child i am shocked but how the hell am i paying so much for braids but to get i know it's smart and like i'm not complaining too much because they actually i like it they're very cute don't forget to subscribe guys to my channel and yeah, keep liking and commenting i like the engagement thank you guys so much for subscribing to my youtube channel and see you guys next time and look out for more videos don't forget also to click on the notification bell because consistency i'm definitely now i'm on the ball i'm on the ball every week i'm gonna be dropping a video so click on the notification bell subscribe tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends about i am on youtube and sharing all her content about living abroad as a south african so thank you so much guys see you next time Thank you.